Yo, what's going on, SGM family? Scholar Gamer Nerd here. Happy Saturday. Today is uh, August 24th, 2019. And really what I want to talk to you about is uh, stress. But specifically today we're going to talk about chronic stress, which is essentially the stress that happens consistently in your life. So think about drama, whether that's physical, verbal, emotional, etc. So before I get into my commentary, I should note that I got this information from a TED talk that I recently watched. I'm not an expert in neuroscience, therapy, or counseling. I'm simply a teacher who wants to share this information with my students, my friends, colleagues, and my YouTube community. So here we go. Basically, what happens when you experience chronic stress, remember like the bad kind of stress, I'm not talking about the kind of stress where like, um, you're thinking about you know responding to emails or lesson planning in my case that's the good kind of stress right that's the stress that keeps you productive I'm talking about the stress where you're constantly arguing with your parents or with a classmate with a co-worker you're constantly fighting people in the neighborhood you're constantly engaging in these uh, really toxic sort of exchanges with other human beings or with yourself in your mind right be they physical verbal, psychological, etc. That kind of stress, what it does is it releases a chemical in your brain known as cortisol. And what cortisol does is basically turns on your fight, flight, or freeze abilities, I guess, of your brain, right? So it's telling you either to fight, right? To flight, like leave the situation or freeze. But the problem with cortisol, according, this is according to the science, all right, in the TED talk that I'm going to link in the description below. What happens when your brain releases too much of that is that your ability to make rational decisions, as in like long-term decisions, not short-term reactions, becomes deteriorated, or rather, rather, edit, deteriorates, it weakens. And when your ability to make good decisions weakens, you start making bad choices. You start doing things that are actually working against you. And that's really the message that I wanna push forward today, scholars, is that chronic stress is going to weaken your decision-making, which is why it's important to actually be very careful with how you're engaging with other people, right? Whether that's toxic or not, really, think about that because if stress is going to weaken my decision making if it's gonna shrink the size of my brain that's another potential side effect I don't want to deal with that right so it is essentially to my benefit to avoid the stress right and, and I think uh, it was really cool to learn about this stuff even though I'm not an expert on it it was really cool to learn about it because now I'm in a situation where there's actual science like neuroscience that justifies the idea of good vibes only because that's where I'm coming from right when I say good vibes only I'm talking about living a stress-free life living a successful life right with your family loved ones friends co-workers etc right just living a better life period so that's all I have for you today just to recap Essentially, chronic stress weakens your decision making because too much cortisol, right? Cortisol, for those of you who don't know, is like, essentially the way I would explain it is that feeling you get, like that rush of blood when you're upset or when you're just anxious, when you're in a panic mode, right? You're just like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I don't know what's happening with me. And you just feel very, like, kind of desperate, I guess. But like, you feel the, you feel this intense burst of emotions, right, in your body. I imagine, right, that's how it feels, right, when your brain is releasing uh, cortisol. Um, experts can correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, guys, that's the message I wanna leave you with today. Um, really manage to the best of your ability, your stress levels. Please share this with somebody you love, somebody you trust, somebody you care about, because truly the purpose of this channel is to encourage everybody to live a better life, period, okay? So that's all I have for you today, SGM family. As always, don't forget to be a scholar first, gamer second, and a nerd always. Take care, guys.